Hey youth, this week we're kicking off a brand new series, Survival Guide for Teenagers. I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. When it comes to survival, there are a few tips you need to remember. Never camp alone. Only drink clean water. Don't forget your flashlight. And lastly, when you're going number two, dig the hole before, not after. So, if you're gonna survive in the wild, there are certain rules you need to follow. And if you're gonna survive your teenage years, there's certain things you need to do. So, in this series, we're gonna talk about three ways for you to not only survive, but thrive in junior high and high school. Here's our first survival tip. Put God first. There are lots of things you can chase after in life. The cute boy in class, the right friend group, or maybe Call of Duty 17. This time we're in space. But if you put any of those things first, your life will be a disappointment. You see, God didn't create you to chase after those things, and that's why they'll disappoint you. You were made to chase after God. In Matthew 6, Jesus described the things that people chase after. He lists money, clothes, food, and he says that none of these things really matter. Here's what Jesus says matters most. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. This verse is telling us that if you put God first, he'll take care of the rest. That doesn't mean that God will give you an A if you don't study. It does mean that he'll take care of the big issues in your life. So how do we do it? How do we actually put God first? I mean, it's not just some announcement you make to your friends, hey guys, I'm putting God first today. But there are a couple practical things we can do to make sure we're putting God first. Listen to God in the Bible. If we're gonna put God first, we need to pay attention to what he says. You know when your teachers are talking in class and you're pretending to pay attention to them? That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about really listening to God. And that happens when we read the Bible. Here's an example of what we're talking about from Joshua 1.8. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. It doesn't matter when, but every day try and spend time in the Bible. If you don't have a Bible, talk to one of your small group leaders about getting one today. And then use it. Think about it. Talk with others about what you learned. And there's one more way to make sure you're putting God first and it has nothing to do with going number two in the woods. Talk to God in prayer. When you read the Bible, you're listening to God, but in prayer, you get to talk back to God. Wait, what? No, not talk back to, you know what I mean. Now, if you're not used to praying, this might seem a little strange to you. Maybe you've only ever prayed before a meal or at church, but the Bible says you can pray about anything. Philippians 4, 6 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. When you're praying, you're talking to God about the problems in your life. Just doing this will make you feel a lot better about the things that stress you out. And remember the verse, thank God for everything he's done and ask for what you need. In prayer, you can thank God for all the wonderful things he's done in your life. And you can ask him for whatever you need, help with school, help with drama, whatever it is. And when you do this, you're learning to put God first. And that's our goal to not only survive, but thrive as a teenager.